Hey guys, this is Super Rush here for another episode of Rock Talk. This is a show where I break down albums that have anniversaries, that have just significant meaning to me, whatever you want to call it. And this is the show where I break them down and I share them all, my love and them with you. Um, as the title of this video suggests, today we're going to be talking about John Mellencamp and... Uh-huh. Uh, this is John Mellencamp's... Uh-huh. Today marks 40th anniversary. Today, October 23rd, 2023. Ha! 10, 23, 23. My birthday was just a couple days ago. There you go. Um, John Mellencamp's Uh Huh. Some people are like, all right, John Mellencamp, whatever. He's cool. This is a big album for him, truthfully. With the songs just crumbling down. Pink Houses. Come on. Authority song. Uh, some lesser known songs like Warmer Place to Sleep. Uh, Jackie O. Play Guitar. Serious Business. Loving Mother for You. And Golden Gates. This album turns 40 this today, actually, October 23rd, 2023. Hard to believe that it's been this long since Pink Houses came out, ladies and gentlemen. Pink, look at that guy. Look at John Mellencamp right there. He's on. He was on tour earlier this year, uh, back through like the spring through June. Um, he's touring. He was touring across the across the country and like uh, uh, and not amphitheaters, but like theaters and stuff like that, like local venues and whatnot too. He's a great artist. If you haven't really so. If you're not a big fan of Heartland Rock, stop watching. Because Heartland Rock is Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp, Tom Petty, uh, Bob Seger to an extent. That's kind of like the wheelhouse we're talking about here with, with the songs like this. But you cannot deny the truth and power that John Mellencamp brought to Heartland Rock. The mainstream, he brought Heartland, him and Bruce Springsteen especially, brought Heartland Rock to the mainstream audiences in the 80s. Um, he still put it, he still put it out the album here and there from, from time to time. He just put out an album in 20, I think it was, um, 2022. Actually, he put out an album, uh, called, um, Strictly One Eyed Jack. That's his most recent release. Check it out. It's actually pretty good. We, we talked about it on our, um, on our albums that, uh, our older artists, newer albums show on Mixed Bag. Yeah, it was great. Um, but yeah, this one is a classic for him. Uh, Crumbling Down, still staple in his live set. Pink Houses, still a, love, a song in his live set. Uh, Authority Song, same thing. The first three songs on this record just rip. They are so great, so awesome. They rock hard. Well, not, not hard, but you know what I mean. But they rock like to his liking, truthfully, of Heartland Rock. Um, the other songs in here, like, you know, uh, like Warmer Place to Say, Jackie O, Play Guitar, Some Serious Business. Uh, Love and Mother for you and Golden Gates. You know, that's this is a really this is one of his career defining albums. Not, I mean, it, it, this one, the one right before it though was um, Scarecrow, which had Rock in the USA on there, which is a great song. Check it out. Or, you know, it's like R O C K in the USA. That's a great song. But John Mellencamp was always been, I mean, he's a kind of, he, he, I'm not saying he's not been like the center point of music. But he's always been a, a dominant player. He's always been a dominant guy who has records coming out every once every couple of years. Um, he still put out his music. Like I said, he just he just released an album a couple of years ago. Um, uh, Strictly One Eyed Jack, a great record. Um, he did some songs on it with Bruce Springsteen too. Uh, check that out too. I forget the name of the songs, but you can just check him out on there too. Um, but John Mellencamp. I don't really talk about him a lot. I feel like I should. He's a really great artist to get into, uh, and this is an album as we're talking about today. Is a uh, is a great uh, artist, a great album for him. If you if you're looking for any introduction point to John Mellencamp, uh huh, might be one of those records for you. They're like, oh, I I know Pink Houses, I know Authority Song, I know Crumbling Down, and that might lead you to go back and say, oh, I know R O C K in U S A. Oh, I know Jack and Diane. You know, the early the early to mid eighties, he was on fire. He was doing great. He did stuff for Farm Aid and stuff like that. He's a really cool artist. And you know, if you ever, I mean, he he's been kind of quiet the past couple of years. I I mean, he, yes, he's on tour now. Like I said, he was just he was just in tour during the spring and into June, if you will. Um, he just he, I think he, he he did some shows in the Beacon Theater, if I'm not mistaken, in New York City. That's one of the closest shows I could see him at. But but yeah, uh, John Mellencamp, great artist. First and foremost, this album specifically, a lot of great songs in here. Like I mentioned, you know, 40th anniversary of Crumbling Down, Pink Houses. Pink Houses is just a great song, man. Just a great, great, great song. Uh, Authority Song is a great song, too. Uh, and those are the big three hits on this record. But the, like, the other, I mean, if I had to pick some other good for tracks in here, I'd go Play Guitar and Serious Business. Those are some other good songs in here, too. 
Um, outside of just a big couple of hits on this record, truthfully. But yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of him. Um, I really like his stuff a lot, truthfully. Um, but that's just this is just another example of about how artists can put out content over time that's timeless. It's great, and it really fits the mold of what Heartland Rock can be. And this is a great testament of that. So that's gonna be that. Um, but yeah, happy 40th anniversary to John Mellencamp's Uh Huh from uh, October today, on a today October 23rd, 2023. Hard to believe this album's been out for over 40 years. Um, but what do you guys think about this? Are you a John Mellencamp fan in there? Jump down in the comment section below to share your thoughts on this video. Share your, th- share your thoughts on John, whoever, right? Um, but yeah. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on our social media pages as well, simply at The Super Review Show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There you go. Um, but yeah, but for all of your Rock Talk episodes and many more, keep it locked on The Super Review Show, the J-Man is off to rock. We'll see you guys later.